blue cosmic storm and the last day of the wave that we have been in and I particularly like the cosmic energy because that is my own energy signature but it is kind of a crazy energy it's outside the box it's the number 13 and it's about going universal and really expanding and so if you enjoy that then you'll enjoy enjoy this energy and then if we add into that that it is a storm day then of course that gives even more sort of changeability and everything moving and obviously we each respond to that differently. Storm represents the catalyst of change and it represents energy and energy is in a constant state of flow if consciousness doesn't collapse it into form. And so this understanding of energy, this understanding of energy is fundamental to the journey that we're on, fundamental to this wave of blue hand, of knowing what to do and knowing how to do it and getting it done. If we don't understand how energy works, then it doesn't, it's not going to get done. We're not going to do what we think we're doing because we don't really understand what we're doing. We don't know enough. We need to know energy. And the hidden power of blue hand is um, white wizard and the hidden power of white wizard is blue hand and we're in the wizard era and storm is fundamental to that wizard is basically knowing how to use the energy having the wisdom about energy about how manifestation works how creation works and so this energy is what we want to really connect with we really want to know energy because we are energy because we are energy beings and we are consciousness and the energy being aspect of us is the feminine and the consciousness is the masculine. And we've been in identified with consciousness and we haven't really been working as how the energy works with the, the feminine aspect, the divine feminine. And that is reflected out in the whole of this matrix. So you can see that, that the feminine is not appreciated. We're in the patriarchal age. We don't understand how fe feminine energy works, receptivity, non-doing, and all of that, and, and also movement as well. Like what is, it needs to move, and it is actually movement in the nothingness, so it's very hard for us to comprehend, to give space to. But we are on that journey of awakening the spiritual intelligence of the alchemy of being. And this sort of storm, this storm energy is all about alchemy. And if we look at the glyph of storm, it is supported by sun and challenged by moon. So there we have the sun and the moon the fire and the water, the masculine and the feminine, and the creative vortex that is within that union. And that's where the wizard is going, mastering that coming together, the alchemy of opposites, because we are in a polarized creation, a binary reality. And so it's really quantum physics in a way the feminine is quantum physics and the masculine uh, consciousness doesn't want to recognize that when it's not there collapsing that particle and defining it then the rest doesn't exist but actually the feminine is saying everything exists at the same time everything it's exists it's just that you're not aware as in consciousness isn't aware of the totality of itself and it's focused in we're focusing in on this reality and we don't believe that any other reality exists we've collapsed it and then we didn't realize that that's what we designed it to do to have an experience but we keep needing to remember that we are not this experience this is just a one in infinite timelines of experience that we can choose to vibrationally attune to when we understand remember that we are consciousness and energy and how those two things come together so cosmic storm is where we're headed in um, in the end of the cycle so 2040 44 2044 we'll go into cosmic, cosmic storm will be 
the year where we probably have the knowledge we're in this wizard uh, era to get the wisdom of how energy works and then we'll have all those years playing through the storm to collapse the realities that we prefer not to experience so that we really are energy masters and can move uh, to wherever we need to be energetically and consciously without getting stuck in a creation that is unpleasant because we we are not victims we're consciousness and energy so we need to learn how to free ourselves by knowing how it works in this game that we created for ourselves so very interesting and that next generational wave 2045 is seed and i can see that as being where we really seed new